Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and today I've got my nautical tattoos on show, and I'm joined by Captain Codswallop and Sailor Sally for a very nostalgic cargo ship build. Now this is actually the first of two ship builds that I'm going to be doing on the channel in the near future. The other one is absolutely hilarious and sort of <laughs> subversive and weird and, and all the rest of the good stuff that you've come to expect from Robin Hood Bricks. Uh, but this one is actually mainly a trip down memory lane, pure nostalgia really, back to 1987 and the wonderful set 4030 cargo carrier, uh, which is from the days when there were a lot fewer sets Amongst those, there are a lot fewer good sets, um, <laughs> fewer releases and all the rest of it. And uh, if you were a kid like me, you spent hours uh, looking in the catalogues, dreaming of owning certain sets. And that's still one that I haven't fulfilled the dream of. So I thought I would do something about fulfilling that dream today by doing, well, a very similar build that's inspired by that wonderful set. Now, you'll see that that uh, 4030 cargo carrier, for a start, is based on a big blue hull piece, and this is clearly red, so I'm not doing a very good start uh, with that. Uh, but the reason why I've gone with the red version from the sister set, 4031 Firefighter, from 1991, is just because I've already got a great big blue ship hull in my harbour, uh, being the City Harbour 7994 Great Big Container Ship. So I figured I'd try and do my nostalgic sort of uh, fix using this red hull for a bit of variety. Because I did used to have the crab boat that had a great big red hull, a different one from this, in my uh, city. But basically now that's been promoted or demoted, depending how you look at it, to the 20,000 bricks under the sea cabinet. Uh, well, we need a new red one and I don't need a fireboat particularly. So that's what I'm going to use this. Uh, also, the benefit of using the red one is it's a lot cheaper and easier to come by with quite good quality stickers, actually. Uh, the one on the front's a bit uh, seen better days and the one on the back's very messy indeed. But hey ho, I figure that um, a, you won't see them all the time, uh, but also... Um, you won't see that one very much at all because it'll be pretty much pressed up against the wall when this is in dock. So uh, what am I going to do today? Well, I'm going to use this wonderfully shaped hole with these lovely sort of uh, cutaways at the back as the basis. Uh, and I'm going to be using the hole pieces that also came with a cargo carrier set to make a proper cargo ship. Uh, and I'm going to have the old grey kind of bit in the middle there to kind of space them out, just like the original. Uh, so if we look at that original set, what else am I going to do? Well, generally I'm going to swap the rest of the blue items, so all the little sort of hinge pieces and all the rest of the blue on the original to red, to keep in with my red ship here. I'm also going to keep pretty much everything at the front that I really like. So that's the holds we've just looked at, the hold doors on top of them, that, that central crane, the front mast, the kind of anchor winder type bit, and all the traditional parts that go on them. And I've bought a lot of those recently from Germany. Uh, but what I'm going to change is the things that I'm not so keen on, which is generally towards the back of the ship uh, to do the wheelhouse. Well, we've got no modern parts on there at all, obviously, because of the age. So I want to add some sort of more uh, future looking radar domes and stuff like that. Uh, all the windows are very flat. And in fact, the whole back is very sort of blocky and boxy. Uh, so I want to use a lot more angles. So some inverted slope pieces and stuff like that to add a lot more sort of texture to it. Uh, and because I used that as partial inspiration for my crab boat as well, with those sort of side balconies that the captain can kind of go out on, and because that's used in other sets that I've already got in my harbour, I want to do kind of an enclosed wheelhouse, I guess, without those balconies. So basically, an all-new wheelhouse on the back. Uh, I'm also going to make it have two engines, so I can have two funnels, because I just think that's twice the fun. Uh, and then lastly, the original's all white with a blue highlight, and obviously we're going to change that uh, blue to red as I've said but I kind of think it's still it's just a bit too basic with two colors so I'm going to add a third I'm going to add loads of yellow to make kind of a yellow trim so that is the plan uh, so the first thing I think I need to do is well affix all these loose old gray pieces so because this uh, hole can float, the original had all sorts of fancy uh, sort of weighted bricks in the base and so on but I don't really need to do that at all I'm just going to be adding the bricks just to hold them in place to stop it kind of popping up from the bottom uh, in an unwanted way in transit or something else like that. So these kind of tubs 
need just one brick underneath them and I'm going to do a little structure in the middle on each side uh, hopefully that's the middle let's see four four nine four four so I think that's the middle then uh, to kind of support the edges no I was right the first time it needs to be there uh, and I want to use the black brick on top just to cover up that little hole so it doesn't look weird uh, so let's see if that is going to be right so that should support that in position that should support that in position and then that should go in the middle oh and then the challenge is, does it fall open? No, <laughs> so that must be working. Brilliant, so that's the really easy bit done. Very basic indeed. Now I've got a great big bag of parts to start adding to this that I've been collecting over the last few weeks and months. All right, so I'm gonna start at the back, I think, with the wheelhouse. Uh, and I'm going to do kind of a lower deck that's gonna have its windows very low down, and that's just to signify that kind of, well, maybe you have to go down some steps to get into it and it's much lower. So it's not that this is the floor as such, just that, well, we can't see inside really. That's the kind of thinking there. And I'm just going to add a black plate as well because I don't want us to be able to see in through what I'm going to be building in a moment, which is kind of a trap door from the main pilot level. Uh, so on the back, I'm going to add a slope kind of coming in that shape and the beginning of some funnels using these lovely sort of inverted slopes that are quite tall in black. So a pair of those on each side like that. So I'm using the full length of the ship. You can just get round the back. Maybe we'll add some buoys or something like that later or buoys, depending on how you pronounce that in your part of the world. Uh, and then we can have some nice windows here. And I'm going to use a Technic brick just as a bit of a, uh, nod to that old set as a porthole because I figure that that's the sort of thing we would see on a ship like this as well as these sort of more modern square windows so there we go that is my kind of real lower deck if you will uh, and I'm going to add some modified bricks on the front there just for some detailing really nice sort of railing there and then this is where I can start to make it a bit asymmetrical. So the next level, I'm going to add in one of these modified plates on one side, just so I can basically have a trap door. And I'm just going to use one of these very simple sort of, I don't know, they're usually signs, aren't they? Uh, as that trap door in the red highlight color. And that's just so somebody can kind of lift it up and go down some stairs to a lower level. So for the stairs, I'm just going to use some bricks as the steps themselves uh, like that and I am going to need a plate in there that I've forgotten but nonetheless you get the idea they're the sort of steps down and that is the sort of uh, trapdoor shut so it's easy to kind of grab and open and then it gives the idea that you can get in there now it's very tight and very small but I don't really mind that because I don't think we're really going to be peering inside this cabin uh, very frequently to be honest uh, but at this stage there's another detail that I'm thinking of adding uh, that I might wait to see how the rest of it looks but I've got these stickers that I bought on a brick hall which come off the uh, city ferry 60119 from 2016 and they just say city seaways so maybe that's the company that runs this vessel so I've got four of those so plenty to spare and maybe I could just transfer one of these onto uh, the one by six there uh, and on the other side as well uh, just so it's kind of got some logos so yeah I'll hold back on actually doing that we'll see if it looks like it needs it in due course but yeah there's the bottom level now the original set had a fire axe and a fire extinguisher, but I've decided to use the much more modern and more sort of chunky looking one for my ship and the fire extinguisher on the far side. So that looks pretty good. And I just thought I'd have a railing on the inside to stop the captain when he's piloting the ship sort of accidentally falling down our trap door because <laughs> that would be a bit unfortunate. So that looks pretty good in there. And that's the first use of that yellow contrast color, which I think is gonna be really good. Then another really old piece is this kind of control stick, which is probably perfect for a ship because you think of uh, it having the throttle on it. And I don't really know what it's called in real life, you can tell me, but that can go on one side of there. And on the other side, I thought, well, we'd need a kind of radar screen, wouldn't we? 
and then maybe a kind of telephone to get us to uh, the engine room or something like that. I've got a very faded one and a very white one. I think I'm going to use the very white one for obvious reasons. Golly, that looks uh, stained in comparison to the brick next to it already. And this is the uh, worst one. But anyway, <laughs> so that can go on this side. Yeah, so that is packed and stacked already. And we can get Captain Codswallop and put him in the cabin. Hope he fits. Yep, there we go. So we can use him for scale. He can have his hand on the red bit with the throttle on. Looking good. Right, so then we need to add a red stripe for a bit more detail. I'm just going to have that at the back, holding all that in place. Red stripe on the sides. And that's why this logo might not work, the Seaways one, because it's got a blue squiggle on. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, and then on the front, I'm going to add a bit more texture, both by way of this 1x8 plate with the kind of uh, sliding bit on and some headlight bricks. And I think that's a good tip for anyone's builds, really. Once you've done it, just go back over it and add texture here, texture here, texture here, texture here, texture here. And it just makes the build a whole lot more interesting if it did look boring in the first place. Uh, anyway, the reason why I've put those headlight bricks in is just to add a 1x4 tile. And this says transport. Uh, and that comes from the 7900 Heavy Loader, which is an absolutely colossal set from 2006. And that's where those massive grey bridge girder pieces come from. But I thought that would be pretty good branding for this. And another use of that yellow highlight colour. So again, we might not need this. <laughs> uh, then we need some sides. Uh, but I'll do those in a moment. Because first of all, I'm going to add a bit more of the back. Uh, first of all, a old grey to go in with the grey that we've got elsewhere sort of ladder piece there then I'm going to add some profile bricks so we can just see those on the inside to represent the sort of engine uh, and then this can go over here but I'm going to need to put on some inverted slopes first because this is where the wheelhouse is going to start coming out and getting a bit broader because you think about these very large ships they kind of go up a bit and then kind of go out in my mind to get even broader and even more sort of uh, uh, lines of sight around the edges of the ship and so on so this axe is going to have to go down a little bit further isn't it so that looks good uh, and then we need to add another ladder piece on there and that's just to give it kind of like a continuous grill look in between these two engine towers and for the engine towers themselves I'm going to use more profile bricks in the sense of these uh, slide plates here uh, just to give another sort of section of interest as these funnels continue up the back and because we've now got them proud with sort of ridgy bits on and this bit in the middle I think that's really interesting actually looks really good cool so there's that then I can continue with these inverted slopes bringing out the sides all the way along uh, uh, uh. boxing the captain into his cabin oh I'm missing one. Oh no there it is Looking good. Uh, and then on the front, just more of these kind of plain windows, I suppose you'd call them. That's what I think of them as, anyway, on the front. But then the sides are going to continue bowing out using these wonderful inverted slope sort of windscreen pieces. So you might often expect to see that kind of on the front of the wheelhouse, and it would look good there. But I just thought for variety, I'd experiment with having it on the sides. So obviously then I need two of them. And this is one of the hardest pits for me to get in my halls. But uh, I managed to find two from different sellers. Oh, and actually they're very, very slightly different. You see, that one's got filled in studs and that one's got hollow studs. I hadn't realised that, but it really doesn't make any difference to my build. Yeah, so that's the next section. And I think that's looking very much like the sort of control tower-esque sort of cabin that you would have for the pilot of a ship like this. And yeah, and I do like the yellow little bits being picked out. I think that was a really good idea. Cool, right, I will get ready for the next section. Looking good. Well, I need to bring this all sort of back in and I want to kind of have a roof that I can lift on and off. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a few tiles and some front lights to illuminate the deck while people are working. And on the back, the same, like that. Oh. There we go. Uh, and then for the sides where the roof isn't going to be covering, these very sort of edged bits here, I'm going to add this piece, which I usually use on the end of a train wagon, 
kind of just to add some really interesting texture and shape. And I think it's really interesting. I think you'll agree. I don't know if you can sort of tell that that's going to look good yet, but I think you will in due course, but bear with me on that one. So on the corners on this side, this is the right, so starboard, so that needs green lights. And on the other side, we'll add another one of these things, and that will cover up the difference in the studs, <laughs> and add the red lights for port, because the drink port is red. And left has four letters, and so does the word port. And red is shorter than green. Yeah, they're all different ways of remembering, but nonetheless, yeah, so that looks quite good from above, I think. Yeah, so then for the roof itself, I've just pieced together two 4x templates with a 2 by 10 on top to hold it together and some 1x6s, and that should sort of drop in there, kind of like ooh, uh, that. There we go, looking pretty good. Uh, now, obviously, if I'm going to pull this off, I'm going to have a real problem when the engines come in on top of this uh, roof piece. So I'm going to combine the engines with the roof itself. Uh, and that way, when you pull it off just to get in the thing, uh, it'll come with it. So I'm going to have kind of the usual sort of big slope piece there, uh, brick. And it's always nice to have a stripe. So I'm going to have more of the red main accent color there before that. And then some of these nice slopes the other way oh, with the kind of slats in as an engine. So I think that's pretty good. So I've got another one of those which I can add onto the other side to be above the other sort of funnel that we've started. Uh, and then just so there's no break in between the two, I'm going to have to add a plate and a tile onto the top of each of these as well. And that will help the roof get located in the right position because you can see that's proud. So basically, that will go kind of like that. There we go. So now what do you think of these side bits? They seem to make more sense now, I think. I don't know what on earth they're before or if they're actually a realistic sort of real life thing that you see on ships. But when I was designing this, I kind of put it on just for an experiment. And well, I liked it actually. So yeah, I'm kind of sticking with it. So maybe it's when somebody's up here, they've got something to hang on to. The why they'd go up there, I've got no idea. But yeah, I kind of like it. Let's get both of those lights in the same angle. Very nice. So we've got lots of colors going on now on this thing. Uh, and to continue that variation in color, I'm going to add one of these sort of little boat mast pieces on the front here. Maybe one back. Uh, then this is very much echoing the original set as well. Having the dish with a red kind of torch piece on the top. Though this was white in the original, it's just bringing in that yellow accent color but back to white for these kind of taps on the side, which I guess would be the sort of, I want to call it a siren, but it's more of a sort of air horn type thing, isn't it? To uh, alert other ships to your presence. There we go. I'll tidy that up in a minute. Uh, and then, as I said, we need some more sort of radar dishes and things like that. So maybe that's one on there. And then maybe we've got the sort of dish of a different sort over there. So it looks a lot more nautical now. Yeah, what do you think of that? I think it's looking pretty good. A very nice wheelhouse with yellow accents, red and white stripe. Really sort of interesting back, I think. I've really tried to make it look good from absolutely every angle. Uh, and I think I've succeeded. And it's definitely a lot more interesting than the original wheelhouse, which was very much sort of square with the square balconies. Uh, with all these different angles and sort of textured pieces absolutely all over it. So I guess we just need to make a decision on the City Seaways logo. You know what? I'm thinking I will. I think there's space for it. What do you think? Well, I'm really loving this trip down memory lane. Uh, the nostalgia bit hasn't really kicked in yet, because apart from the hull and these wonderful uh, cargo hold type pieces, all of what I've done so far is very loosely inspired on that original cargo carrier set. So the real nostalgia is to come in part two when we add all the wonderful old pieces like the sort of masts and uh, sort of cargo doors and stuff like that that I've got sprawled out over here to my right. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to adding all of that in place and finishing off this wonderful ship. So uh, Seaman Sally will have to wait until part two to get her part of the ship 
uh, operational. Uh, but yeah, I think it's looking really good so far. So let me know what you think about the City Seaway stickers on the sides. And uh, let me know if you can think of any early improvements. But yeah, I think it's looking really good. And the roof coming off seamlessly <laughs> is another good feature with that trapdoor, of course. So as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. Also, next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be doing a brick haul. And this will be another package from bricklink.com, getting wonderful pieces for more wonderful mock builds like this. And I think that one will actually allow me to build quite a few more things that I've had, that I've been collecting for, for quite some time. So I'm quite excited about that. Uh, then on Friday, we'll do another mock build, though I don't know if that's going to be the uh, underwater uh, base or more fairground or maybe something new that might be coming from Lego. It, it really depends on whether Lego's <laughs> deliveries arrive on time. Um, but whatever we get up to, I'm sure it'll be absolutely fantastic. So until all of that, see you!